<laughs> I almost got to my whole uh, laptop. Yeah. Hi. I'm going to read to you Joel 2. Yeah. It's been almost... Well, let's just put it this way. Last time I read Jill too, I think I was probably about uh, probably about thirty. Yeah. So long time ago. So twenty nine. It's a long time ago. That's just all I can say. And um, due to the way ISIS is behaving and the way things might suddenly take place, uh, for instance. Is this recording? Yeah, it, it's recording. Um, looks like we attacked China with something, and then they must might have retaliated and attacked our uh, something we have in Tokyo. And now I've heard North Korea has launched uh, submarines coming our way. A few years back, China launched an ICBM off the coast of Los Angeles. They're not really saying that, but it looks like it. Okay. Said, no, that's not an ICBM uh, trail. That 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 that's a that's a, a com trail from a from a plane, an airliner. Like hell, it was. I saw it. It was definitely a missile rising up, like off off the coast of Carolina. That was not a plane. Trip. That was not a contrail. No. Or it, was a, it wasn't. It wasn't even a chem trail. Yeah. But anyway, I thought I would read Joel too and uh, see what you think of it, because I was kind of impressed with it a long time ago. All right. This is it. Okay. Shoot. Oh, shoot. It's like it froze or something. Okay, now it's gone. Okay. Alright. Okay. An army of locusts. Okay. An army of locusts. Blow the trumpet. Blow the trumpet in Zion. I guess that'd be Israel. And uh, Feast of Tabernacles is coming up. Pretty much. Yeah, I think they blow trumpets there, and I think they also blow on Rosh Hashanah. I'm not really sure. Sound the alarm on a ho on my holy hill. Okay. Let all who live in the land tremble, and I think that's in the promised land, the holy land. But the day of the Lord is coming; it is close at hand. A day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. Like dawn spreading across the mountains, a large and mighty army comes. Could be the, the army of Islam. Such as never was in ancient times, nor ever will there, nor ever will be in ages to come. So in other words, if you thought the Crusades were bad, you thought the Muslim Jihads were bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. Before them, fire devours and behind them a flame blazes. Yeah. Before them the land is like the Garden of Eden. Behind them a desert waste. Nothing escapes them. And this could be ISIS because you know they're destroying everything. It's not just people. You know they're destroying uh, artifacts and everything. Nothing escapes them. They have the appearance of horses they gallop along like Calvary, like Calvary. They look like horses. They gallop along like Calvary. Um, with a noise like that of chariots, they leap over the mountain tops, like a crackling fire consuming stubble, like a mighty army drawn up for battle. At the sight of men, at the sight of them, nations are in, in anguish. 
Every face turns pale. It just you just turn white. Like ah. They charge like warriors. They scale walls like soldiers. They all march in line, not swerving from their course. That's because they feel because they can't because they'll be killed by their own people thinking that they're out of Islam. That's if, that's, if this is talking about ISIS, that is. Yeah, they do not jostle each other. Each marches straight ahead. They plunge through defenses without breaking ranks. Well, yeah, it's easy to do because a blamer. <laughs> He just goes after their pin. He he just does pinpricks on their uh, uh, abandoned pickup trucks and shacks. That's why. That's why they have so much bravery because they know they're not going to get hit by a blamer's fire jets due to a blamer. Yeah, if, if this is talking about ISIS, yeah, they not jostle each other. Uh, each marches straight ahead. They plunge through defenses without breaking ranks. They rush upon the city. They run along the wall, they climb into the houses, like thieves that enter through the windows, through the windows. Before them the earth shakes, the, earth, the heavens tremble, the sun and the moon are darkened, and the stars no longer shine. The Lord thunders at the head of his army. Well, yeah, they do call, all, uh, do call in, in their language, God's great, so, in a way, that I guess, ISIS is kind of like God's army. Yeah. The Lord thunders at the head of his army. His forces are beyond number. The mighty is the army that obeys his command. The day of the Lord is great. It is dreadful. Who can endure it? Rend your heart. Even now, declares the Lord. Return to me with all your heart. With fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart. And not your garments. Return to the Lord your lo return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. And He relents from sending calamity. Who knows? He may turn the relent. He may turn the relent and leave behind the blessing, grain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly gather the people, consecrate in the assembly, bring together the elders, gather the children, those nursing at the breast, let the bridegroom leave his room, let the bride her, and the bride her chamber, let the priests who minister before the Lord weep between the portico and the altar, let them say, spare your people, Lord, do not make your inhabitants an object of scorn, a byword, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? The Lord's answer. Then the Lord was jealous for his land and took pity on his people. The Lord replied to them, saying, The Lord said, Okay, I'm sending you grain, new wine, and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. I will drive the northern horde from afar from you, pushing it into a parched and barren land. Its eastern ranks will, be, will drown in the, red, in, the, in the Dead Sea, and its western ranks in the Mediterranean Sea, and its stench will go up, its smell will rise. Surely he has done great things. Do not be afraid, land of Judah. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Do not be afraid, you wild animals, uh, for the pastures and the wilderness are becoming green. The trees are bearing their fruit. The fig tree and the vine yield their riches. Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the autumn rains, because he is faithful. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains, as before. The threshing floor will be filled with grain. The vats with over, will overflow with new, new wine and oil. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. The grain, the, the great locust and the young locust, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that I sent among you. I guess ISIS is God's army. If <laughs> this is talking about ISIS, yeah. Uh, you will have plenty to eat until you fall until you are full. You will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you. And never again will I will my people be ashamed will be shamed. 
Then you will know that I am in Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed, the day of the Lord. And afterwards I will gather our, out my spirit on all people, and your sons and daughters will prophesy, and your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will turn, be turned into darkness, the moon into blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone, you know, the last uh, uh, blood moon is coming up. And it says this, and the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon in, uh, turned to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and, Jerus in, Jeru and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. So, well, we'll see. But I, to me, the first part seems to be talking about ISIS. Could be wrong, but I think. But, and if it is, it sounds like ISIS is God's army. You know, whether you like it or not. It sounds like ISIS is God's army, but it sounds like God is, after he's done using it, it sounds like it destroys ISIS. So, just let you know. It's God's armies now, but he's going to use it. And then he's going to lose them. In the Mediterranean and some other places. And the Dead Sea, yeah. Fine. 